All right, I made it to the car. I'm wet, it's pouring down, raining. I'm gonna watch with. Now it's time to pick up the girl. I mean, I, I don't, it was just a stressful day. That's all I gotta say. Kids don't understand how stressful it is raising kids now in America these days. It's very, very stressful. You know, when I put my blazer on, I mean business, okay? y'all it is hold on it is 6 23 today is tuesday and we are getting ready to leave we're waiting on miss miss mingle hope everybody has a good tuesday second day of the week and we'll see you later bye bye doing my hair. good morning you guys we are getting How she be getting me? I be too busy getting ready, worried about myself, you know. Since she's older, you know, she can get dressed on her own. But the problem is, the problem is, is when people start trying to show too much skin. I'm grown. Anyway, it's Tuesday and it should be 6 30 so we need to go we are at the corner store it's 6 53 i have to drop my daughter off first of course and then i'm gonna head to my campus this is the second store we stopped at the first store as soon as we pulled up their lights went out i don't know what that's about but they need to pay their light bill and other than that I don't think there's a lot going on. Oh, we do have open house. But I'm probably not going to that. I don't. I'm probably not going to go to that. I just wanted to send a little advice out there to those who have to be patient. When you are patiently waiting for what it is that you feel like you deserve or what you want, make sure that you are what's the word exemplifying having a good attitude as well i hope that's the right word because me with words i'm country i'll be saying all kind of wrong what's this baby them teachers be flying to get them handicapped parking spots there is nothing wrong with you 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 been having that boot on your foot for two years ma'am two thousand years later did I bring my camera to work? Yes, I brought my camera to work. Did I have intentions on vlogging? Yes, I had intentions on vlogging. Did it happen? No, it did not. Do I feel like vlogging now? No, I do not. The problem is, is I get really bored with <laughs> doing the same thing. I done already vlogged about four times since school done started back. I'm over it. It's time to switch it up. So don't be surprised if y'all are going to mingle with me at the track or the trail or the gym because that's our next movement to get active. Why would I call you 18 million times? Hey, y'all. So what's up you guys, I just got off of work. It is 4.05, excuse the air, but I am hot as hell, okay? Whew. So today has been crazy, y'all little, my daughter here. So my daughter texts me around 11 that there was rumors about a threat going on at her school. And it's so bad and it happens so much. 
it's bad and it happens so much that you just become desensitized to the situations and you don't know what's real or what's fake. So I was just like, at first, you know, any parent, you always get startled and, you know, but this is the third week of school. This is the second time. Like, to be quite honest with you guys, it's the second time. Hold on, let me get up out this parking lot. The other day, my daughter texted me and she told me that somebody had but someone had brought a pew pew to the school and the principals emailed us by the time you know i was getting out of work and all they said was that it was a behavioral incident fast forward until the next day I'm gonna include old boy getting taken away in handcuffs. So fast forward today, same thing. My daughter's like, oh no, come get me. They talking about shooting up the school and shooting up buses and I had a lot going on in my job. I, I had a meeting to go into and it was a whole lot. It was just a lot going on. So this girl want me to come pick her up and I'm just like nah man like sometimes these kids be doing that just to get out of school right so she starts sending me pictures screenshots all kind of stuff I may include them I don't know because you know I work for the district I ain't trying to lose my job and nothing like that I'm just be trying to let people know what's what you know and um thank you I be trying to let people know what's what and what we go through as parents. I'm at this corner again, too much going on. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. The crazy part is though, you sitting up here calling me, interrupting me at work, talking about you fearing for your life, you scared. But then you gonna back though and still ask, can you go to the football game? Girl, no. Like, if you leave that schoolhouse, you gonna go home and sit down somewhere. If you so scared, why would you, why would you go back around the same crowd of people? And my daughter, she talking about, well, they got metal detectors at the football game. What they need to do is go ahead and implement the metal detectors at the school like through every entrance whatever y'all gotta do and it's sad because it's like yeah school is starting to look like prison like real talk it really really is and that is why i say i am so glad that this is my last year well, i'm speaking into existence i didn't gave them a, a good chunk of my adulthood working for them but anywho stress me out all day it's not my fault they was trying to come get us but who wants to go to a football game with a, another large crowd and you don't know who trying to come get y'all? They're not gonna get us because it's metal detectives and real police, but they already arrested people, so. It could be anybody. It was somebody different last week. It could be somebody different at the game. And you gonna, how are you supposed to feel for your safety but still wanna go to a game? Aren't you supposed to be scared? Huh? I was scared in school because there's no metal detectors. There's no nothing without it. Stress me all day. I'm trying to work. Call me how many times? Three. She a three lie. She can't go nowhere. Period. Cause uh, you stress me. So, for my moms out there, y'all know how hard it is for us to allow our kids to do things that we really don't want them to do you want them to have a good balance of having rules goals morals and standards as well as you know the freedom to allow them to experience some things as a child so i did tell her i have a duty to protect her and you know she let me know her side of things so as you can see i did decide to let her go to the football game but you already know, Mama Bear was not too far away. Let me 
okay. Let me know when it's over. So, I decided to go ahead and let my daughter go to the game. I try to get her to understand how I feel as a parent. You know, it's already bad enough that so much unfortunate things happen when it comes to schools, children events, and things like that. And with all the threats that's been going on at her school, and especially having one today, she wanted to leave school early. And a lot of times, you know, kids just do stuff so that they can leave school early. And so I was just trying to tell her, like, when things like this happen, you have to take stuff serious. It doesn't matter if everybody else around you isn't taking it serious. No, when it comes to threats, I don't play. So she still wanted to come to the game. And I told her, like, my point was, as a mother I have a duty to protect you and to make sure that you are safe at all times granted I do understand that my daughter is getting older I will not always be there but I need for her to know where I'm coming from as a mother as well as I get where she's coming from as a child in high school you want to go to the game you want to be with your friends you want to experience things i get it but you also need to be mindful that there's a lot of things going on in our area in the state in the community that ain't got nothing to do with us or her but it still affects us well it affects me emotionally because it's like when you're not with your child, you just want them to be safe, right? So, I mean, like I said, she's at the game, she's enjoying. I think you can probably hear. Yeah. So, yeah, she really, is that my coworker? Oh, no. But anyway, she really wanted to come to the game, so I allowed her to come to the game. I am about to get out of here. I should have brought my shoes to go for a walk since I am a little stressed and I've been having a headache since this girl was calling me earlier today. Like, <laughs> these kids don't understand how stressful it is raising kids now in America these days. It's very, very stressful. <sighs> but anyways, so, I am about to get out of here and try to find me something to eat. You know, your girl is balling on the budget. But, we'll see. I'll talk to y'all later. Can't even afford me no, uh, raisin canes. Ooh. Hey. Oh, what I'm about to see. Now I feel like I need comfort food. Fooling with her. She didn't got my, she didn't got my nerves racked. My cortisol and stress level is sky high now. Ugh. Yeah, this might fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick of big purse. Yeah. 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 So I just got me some food. I just got some tacos. I be wanting to do. <laughs> I be wanting to talk to y'all, but. I'm not really a mukbang person and I don't like to talk and eat. I mean, I was raised to not talk with your mouth full, but I do understand YouTube has kind of changed that to where people be talking and eating. You can see the back of their mouth and you know, people like that, but I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food. And then probably once I get back to the house, I'm gonna talk to y'all. I tried to go to the track, but they did have the school district officers right out there by the track. So I didn't know if that was just them chilling in the parking lot or them guarding, making sure ain't nobody using school property outside of school hours. So I ain't want no smoke. So I ain't even want, I ain't even get out the car. I was just like, mm, never mind, I'm gonna come back. 
So, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food and I'm gonna talk to y'all in the next one. So, tell me why, right before I pulled up to the house, you know, I'm sitting at the light, at the intersection or whatever, you know, just chilling, vibing, trying to calm my nerves because as y'all seen earlier, the girl got me all, she got me all stretched today. So I'm just sitting there trying to woos off. Everybody at the red light, it was, it was like a moment where nobody was really going. It was like for a brief second. Why did something in the middle of the road blow up? You don't know, you know what? Actually a car had just went in the turning lane, but soon as they were going in the turning lane, something in the middle of the street blew up as if someone put a firecracker there and it just, I mean, I jumped. Today is not the day, <laughs> like, it's just not. I don't know what that was, like my only thought is maybe it was a lighter and with it being hot outside it exploded, but just the timing of it was crazy. And with that being said, I need to go calm my nerves. Be sure to come back around to mingle with your girl, the one and only who, me, Miss Brown. Oh,